Despite the uproar about illegal immigration, the U.S. government has made little progress in deporting undocumented people. Now it's trying another tack. As Bob Orr reports, it's asking them to turn themselves in. The Bush administration, which has wielded a big stick against undocumented immigrant workers, is now dangling a carrot. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, has launched a pilot program and an ad campaign inviting fugitive illegal immigrants to turn themselves in. Eligible participants, the ICE ad says, will not be held in custody pending removal. Under the deal, immigrants facing deportation will get up to 90 days to make travel plans and get their lives in order. I think for individuals who really are concerned about how disruptive detention, arrest and detention could be on their families, this is an opportunity for them to take some control. The so-called scheduled departure is open to a half million undocumented immigrants who've committed no crime but are under court orders to leave. Many of those eligible, though, have been here a long time with jobs and families and may be inclined to continue taking their chances at avoiding detection. If these folks have final orders of removal, and haven't yet been encountered by ICE. Well, that probably means ICE doesn't know where they are. So far, there have been few takers. ICE reporting centers set up in five cities, Santa Ana, San Diego, Chicago, Phoenix, and Charlotte, have seen only a trickle of interest. I think people are gonna turn themselves in. <laughs> I'm just curious. Still, immigration reform backers say it's worth a try. It reduces the risk to law enforcement agents. It also saves taxpayer money. But really what it does is it offers these fugitive aliens a choice. But even if successful voluntary surrenders cannot fix the nation's immigration crisis, by some estimates there are still 12 million illegal immigrants here, somewhere. Bob or CBS News, Washington.